um, you know, I deal with, the, as you know, external cooperation. So really it's uh, enriching tertiary um, education. It's uh, finding possibilities for exchange of students, whether it's students coming, incoming or outgoing students for about a semester. Uh, it is really looking into possible research collaboration and how I can get a researcher with a researcher or a group with a group researcher to, to get um, inviting research visitors to come to the university for different lengths of time, whether it's part of their um, master's or PhD degree or just part of a general uh, research. Um, looking into best practices, so we do travel a lot and uh, learn a lot from other tertiary education systems to see how things are working and we bring whatever could be applied to the university. This is in a nutshell. Yes, of course, research is broad. As you know, we have nine colleges, so it covers different areas of science and technology. But we try in our research to focus on issues directly relevant to Oman. So, for example, in agriculture, you know, we, we focus on problems of date palm or mango trees or lime. In the engineering, we have everything to do with oil and gas and the issues uh, surrounding that uh, with the the social um, aspect of research. We have like you know, gender in school, gender equality, you know, um, issues, social issues that you know worry us uh, in Oman. In science, we have in chemistry or in physics, in medicine, we go into blood disorders, uh, oncology, ophthalmology, and the range is so so vast, you know. But we really encourage our researchers to always deal with issues. Know, or, or mostly to deal with issues relevant to, to the Omani society. Yes, for me, uh, some of the issues were like uh, lifelong learning. And this, I am a strong, strong believer in this. And I feel we need to prepare our students for that. Because most of the time they finish about, they feel about 22 odd years or something. That's it, you know, education ends here, we start to work. That's it, not a book read, nothing done. And, and this, this can't help us become competitive. So it's the lifelong learning, it's the issue of having a, a research culture. And the point I wanted to get across is start earlier. So we have it at the university level, maybe at second or third year. To me, this is too late. It should start at the schools. Uh, the other issue was the non-technical soft skill. So I believe a lot in skills and leadership skill, collaborative skill, uh, critical problem solving skill communicative skills. So I hope I could get this, you know, across. And another of the ideas was uh, the reading culture. You know, we are, we are not, we don't have the reading culture yet, that love, that hunger for reading. And I hope I could get this across. And hopefully we're having the children library, which should be open hopefully by next year, which is really the idea came from encouraging youth to love, enjoy, and, and, and read. So these are some of the ideas, I guess become innovative yes. uh, with the reading culture I mean I mean uh, my children in their early education st studied in the UK and it was this culture that every single day they had a book even at the age of four years old book just with pictures without the word but it was to get them to start to have a relationship with the book and it becomes part of the curriculum so it's embedded but it's also a must it is also needed so what they used to do is encourage the student to read to the parents, but also to read to other students and read to the teacher. So it became an, an active culture. It, it, it grabs their attention. It makes them interested into reading. Now for me, reading leads us to become long life learners because if we continue this reading culture, that's what we will become. Reading also gets us interested into research because the more we read, the more we want to search about different things. And this in the end, to me, equals innovation. So we cannot become innovative without starting with a reading culture. For me, I believe that children or students should be very involved in the community. So whatever happens in the community, they should become part of it. They should see themselves as part of the solution. And I feel in Oman, it's not happening enough. We need to involve them more, more voluntary work, a more um, you know active participation in certain issues or even certain you know like global catastrophes they should be more involved 
uh, starting children even at you know high school level to do some trainings to do some internship is essential it's to understand the value of work you know um, to understand the responsibility to understand how to be held accountable I think it starts quite early so usually what happens in Oman is it happens the year before last some of the colleges at the university will have a little bit of internship and training can come along the way but for me I think it should start at an earlier age so it becomes part of their culture part of the habit I I really want to see this happen this is maybe one of the messages I didn't have time to get across today and I think that the private sector the industry should start even from the school level as you just said I think it's a it's a matter of trust it's a matter of networking it's a matter of working together and I think if they give you know, our kids this chance. They will be amazed. You know, they might even find innovative solutions to problems they, they, they couldn't solve themselves. And I think there's a wealth of knowledge with our youth. It's just that giving them that confidence to, to get it out and, uh, you know, innovate. And what we should pass across to our youth, it's okay to fail. If you fail once or twice in the end, you need to fail to innovate. So does our system allow for, uh, for failure? This is where I would lay that question. You know, I really hope that they get the message that we have all the ingredients to become competitive or, or to be competitive. We have it there. We have all the ingredients to be innovative. I want them to have that idea. Uh, Oman has this richness. It's just how to apply it, where to apply it, when to apply, how to use the skills. So it's, it's all there, the infrastructure is there. How do we work with it to enhance, to engage, to reach that level? So I hope they get this, this message with them.